Today, we're gonna make boats in Minecraft. This is my survival world, and I have all this water real estate, but I don't build on it, like, ever. So today, I'm gonna help you make a boat by me making a boat. I'm so excited, let's go! Whoa. Nope, nope, oh I'm skilled. Okay, so first off, the materials you're going to need. At least to start off, you are gonna want planks, stairs, and slabs of any kind of wood you like. I prefer spruce, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, there guys, I made a boat, video's over. Okay, so first off, our positioning. I don't care where you make the boat, but make sure you start placing blocks on the second block under the water. So not the first block, but the second block. Now on the top half of your second block, we're gonna come out with slabs like this. What are you doing in the tree, my guy? All right, my boat's gonna be about 10 blocks long, so this is a good size for me. This here is like the bottom of the boat. So now we're gonna start coming out with blocks and stairs. So at the very front, put down a block and go out by a stair and do that again. And then one more. Now go to the back side and do the exact same thing. So what do you think water zombie? Look good? Good shape? Good size? I don't care what you think, you're a water zombie. So you get the idea, but now it needs to become three-dimensional. So go to your first blocks right here and very simply take out a stair and put it sideways and bring them all across the side just like that. Now personal preference of mine, I'd actually go back to these first stairs and turn them going towards the front. That's just me, you get that little cool edge shape there, but it's up to you. But I'm gonna do that because I'm cool and awesome and amazing. Now do the same thing again, but go out one more block, so instead now the block comes out to here. Wait, no, it doesn't cut. Okay, okay, okay. Next up, take more planks out and build up on top of these stairs by one. Up on this front corner, front facing stair. Then do the same thing you did down here. Do another front facing stair here, then bring these along the side like that. Can you guess what's next? Do it again. Do the same thing one more time. So raise up your blocks. Can you guess what's next? If you said exterminate glow squid, you're correct. But no, seriously, do the block thing one more time. So go blocks above these stairs right here. If I can place it. Oh, I hate placing blocks in the water. And do the same thing with your stairs. Front facing, front facing, side facing. Now if done correctly, you'll see these little weird grooves. So in these spots, I'll put one more block and one more stair and look at that it all kind of fits together nicely Are all these instructions boring you? I'll fix that disco break you guys just be patient We'll make amazing boats together. I promise <laughs> most of my viewers are not subscribed So if you like this video, please change that to be totally honest This does not look good right now So it's time to add in the important details to make the boat look boatier. That's a new word So pick your front and back side for me. This will be the back. This will be the front so on your front side take out more stairs and simply do normal stair upside down stair normal stair upside down stair now you have kind of like that pole thing that comes out of boats usually in fact I'll make it one taller just to make it look a little bit more grand wait I take that back don't do one taller don't do one taller now just to make it look all even take out some slabs and on these blocks right here next to your pole put slabs on top of that and look at that it's looking a lot more boat like now on the back side understand it's not gonna be this same like you know pointy shape usually Usually the back of a boat is kind of like squared off or rounded off so it won't be pointy so I'd personally say take off this back block there take off these two stairs right there throw some blocks in the back and then above these three just put a few more blocks down plus one extra on each side now again I would use stairs to kind of like you know make it look a little bit less ugly like you know kind of rounded off like this but this is all just personal preference do what you want for the back but in general you want it to be kind of like a flatter wall like this okay for the next part of the boat we need more materials. I highly recommend you get a different kind of wood. So I use spruce. I'm gonna grab some oak. Grab some fences of your choosing. Grab some trap doors. And lastly, grab yourself two kinds of wool and then one kind of log. These three things here are for the sale. Are you subscribed to Farzy? If not, I'm gonna murder you. Carry on. Cannonball! Oh, okay, I missed all the water. All right, so I had you get other kinds of wood so you can texture the boat. One big mass of the same kind of wood, it looks ugly. And trust me, I'm the boat guy. I'm the boat expert. I know what I'm talking about. So every here and there, take out a block and replace it with a different kind of wood. And if you do this a ton, it makes the boat look kind of like it's aged and there's like wear and tear on it. It looks really cool. Would you look at that? So much better. Now go to your side tier and put down some fences to kind of act as like the fences. And if you got trap doors, like I said, we can actually make a little plank here. So I will uh, break out this area and we can walk the plank right here. Ready for this? <laughs> 
I know that was cringe. Don't even say it. I'm not gonna judge you either way, but if I were you, I would fill in the floor so you actually have, you know, like a solid boat. But you also could keep a little staircase down here to make like a like a captain's quarters, even though it's you know one by two, but it could work. I don't know. I don't care, so I'm not gonna do that. All right, take out your logs and your wool, and we're gonna make the sail. So go somewhere towards, I'd say like on the further back side. Now take out your logs and your wool, and it's time to make the sail. So go somewhere near the middle. I'll just do mine like right here. And we're gonna go up by, I'm gonna say like 10 blocks. Now I'd go down like three blocks and put down a sideways log and come out by either one or two to make that like boat cross shape that you see on all the sails and put that back and boom that looks pretty decent. Not me making the whole sail and didn't press record. Not me. Okay take two because I'm dumb. Go one off your cross and do every other color of wool like this. Then you're gonna go down and out by one with the same colors. So down and out, and then I'll just break that interior block. Then go down three more, so one, two, three. And then finally go in and down by one. So in and then down, then break that block. And do that for all the other colors. Isn't it fun to build with Farzy? I'm clumsy, but I am a good builder, I think. Probably not. <laughs> Please validate me in the comments, I need this. Let's go get a far away view. Look at that, that's not bad at all. Now now obviously there are some things we could do to enhance it, make it a little bit better, but all in all, that's a pretty darn good boat. So if you're trash at Minecraft like me, you're proud of that. I'm happy. But did you guys think I was just gonna make one boat today? Ah, I laugh, I laugh in your face. I'm gonna make so many boats. I'm gonna make boats out there, boats over there, boats on the other side of the kingdom. I'm gonna make boats all over my world. So on that note, it's time lapse time, BRB. Okay, we're back and we got plenty of boats. We got about two over there, we got a few over there. And overall, they came out pretty good. I tried to make each one a little bit unique so they're not, you know, all the exact same design. So that was pretty fun too. But I didn't make as many as I wanted. And you know why? Because of those stupid drowned mobs. Everywhere I went, I just got murdered by drowned. Everywhere. There were singles, there were groups. They were all just mobbing me. And oh my gosh, I was getting so upset. I had severe gamer rage. But carrying on, there's one boat over here that I actually made years ago and looking in comparison, this is really bad. So RIP old boat, we've adapted, we're better than this, we're gonna take this one down. And I definitely plan to make a lot more of these boats around the kingdom in other waters, but for today, I think those four to five are enough. Oh, I forgot to sail, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that was fun, I enjoyed making those boats. I'm also just happy to be back in this world because if you guys didn't know, I joined an SMP recently and I have not been playing in this world much at all recently. But I'm curious, have you you guys missed this series too? Do you prefer my other videos? Let me know down below. I'm very curious about this stuff. Wait, there's something I have to do. I forgot. We have to name the boat. We can't just have like boat number one, boat number two. We have to have sick, amazing names for each boat. The SS Broderick. If you know, you know. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. We have the SS Broderick, right? But for the other boats, I actually want you guys to give me feedback. So I got like four more boats. Give me good boat names and I'll pick my favorites in the comments. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, <coughs> oh god, it worked. Hey, listen, I'm Farzi's editor and I am going to get that boat. I need you all to start a big chain in the comments and all tell Farzi to name one of the boats. Nate is the best editor. Again, that's Nate is the best editor. And I know you're thinking, oh, but I want my own boat. Well, guess what? So do I. This is a call to action. So again, Tell Farzi that we need that Nate is the best editor boat, okay? I'm counting on you, troops. Okay, I'm leaving. Enjoy the video. Bye. Bye. I love you. Mwah. Bye. 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 I'm going to be really mad if I wasn't in focus for that entire thing. <laughs> I just asked. Don't say swear words. Hey, buddy. Hey, you, you okay there? You having some trouble getting out? You need help? No? You, okay. Oh. 
Nope, nope. Well, now I'm just gonna walk around and see are there any things I gotta do in the world? It's been like three weeks since I've been here last, so I kind of forget. <laughs> uh, the houses are still good. Villagers are still working. Good job. Actually, something I want to do pretty soon is I want to expand this whole biome room project. If you guys are new here, these are all individual biome rooms where it's basically like, like a diorama of- is that what it's called? Diorama? It's like a model of a biome, and I want to make more of them and expand this out this way, so remind me to do that soon, because I got a lot of cool ideas. We got the end, we got a flower forest, we got underwater, we got the nether, badlands, snow biome, you get the gist. And I absolutely need to go find more copper because I want to make more builds out of copper, but I can't find any because my world is really, really old. So I got to go out on like a big mining trip soon and just get a ton of copper. In fact, let's do that right now. Why not? Let's go have some fun. And we are out of here. Let's go this direction and go find some new caves. Oh, I found Broderick's home. Let's make a small pit stop, shall we? Broderick, Broderick. Oh, hey, Broderick. Hey, what's up? What are you? Oh, you're doing actual hands-on stuff. Look at you. I'm surprised. You're usually very, very lazy, but I'm proud of you, Broderick. Hey, guess what, dude? I just made a boat in your name. You have a boat. I know. He's so excited. He's like, show me, show me. Nah, dude, not yet. Go do work. You're never leaving, Broderick. This is your home now. Get me more amethyst. I don't come here enough. I need to get more amethyst too. I want more new cool building blocks like amethyst and copper. So I got to come here as well. All right, Broderick, have fun. Get me more. Bye. Whoa, look at that forest up there. Hey, we found some. Okay, that was unexpected. Perfect. Well, guys, I'm flying back home now because I think I'm done for today's episode. But once again, I do want to remind you, if you are enjoying this series in particular, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be totally honest. I've been a little bit conflicted on what I want to post to my channel, whether that be a lot of SMP, a lot of this series, tutorials, hardcore. I've been kind of conflicted and unsure of myself. So if you could give me some feedback, I would really, really appreciate that. Just simply tell me what series do you like? Which ones do you not like? Please just be honest with me, okay? But that being said, we're gonna end the episode here the best way that I know how, which is by getting a comment of the day. If you're new, I take my favorite comment from the previous episode and I put it up in that giant rainbow called the comment rainbow. So you get how it works. Let's go grab the comment of the day. And tonight in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who I believe had a name change. I recognize the picture, but not the name. But regardless of who it is, this commenter's name is LOL, and they say, Thank you, Farzy, for your dedication to this amazing, extraordinary world. So thank you, LOL. I really appreciate that, and I hope all you guys are enjoying this amazing world. It's come a long way. We're on episode 251 now. Just absolutely insane, but the progress has been so fun, so amazing, and I hope to keep making videos in this world for a long, long time. But it's pouring, so I gotta get going. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then... That was loud and scary. Uh, goodbye.